This is Web Talk 5 in the M Plus Web Talk series. It raises a fundamental question about cross lag panel data modeling. Can it actually be relied on to establish these cross lag effects? The talk is a companion piece to a new paper by Tiamer Asparohov and me. We want to thank Ellen Hamaker for providing great feedback. The outline on slide two is straightforward. I'll give some background for this investigation. I will discuss model identification and estimation matters. Then I'll show some Monte Carlo simulations and go through five examples and then conclude. On slide three, we see um, two very commonly used uh, models for cross lag panel data analysis, the CLPM and the RI CLPM. At the top, we have the uh, traditional one, the CLPM. We have two variables, Y and Z, going forward in time. This is four time points. And we look at the cross lag effects between the observed variables across time. At the bottom, we formulate the random intercept, one for the Y process and one for the Z process. And these are variables that vary across individuals. You can think of them as uh, level two or between level variables. They don't change over time and they influence each of the observed variables equally across time. So they can be thought of as a trait. So for instance, Y1 is then composed of two sources, the random intercept and the uh, within level deviation from that. And we do have then the cross lag effects between these uh, latent variables across time, the within level variables. So there are no direct effects between the observed variables like for the CLPM, but they are instead between these latent variables, these within level deviations from the random intercept. This is discussed in detail in M plus web talk number four, where I go through many other models as well for panel data. Part one deals with continuous outcomes and part two deals with categorical outcomes. So in a sense, this talk is a continuation of that topic. On slide four, uh, the focus of the talk is uh, given, and the key question is that of the title. Alternative models to these traditional ones would use contemporaneous or lag zero effects, and they may challenge the conclusions from CLPM and RICLPM, the traditional models. And we raise two questions. Are models with reciprocal contemporaneous effects actually identified? And are models with both cross lag and the reciprocal contemporaneous effects identified? And then this new paper then by Asparov and I, we uh, go through this and discuss the identification of the so-called reciprocal vector order resin model. The answer is yes to both of these questions above under certain conditions. The focus of this web talk is more on how do such models work in practice? What do the simulations and the real data examples say about that? 